Farage is the former leader of the Independence Party in Great Britain that led the Brexit campaign as well as a Fox News contributor. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Okay, so let's talk about your take on the parallels between Trump and Le Pen. Uh, are they an exact match? How is that viewed there in France? What is very interesting, the way the international media are portraying this is Macron is a centrist. He's nice. He's cuddly. He is the really good guy. Quite why he's called centrist when he was minister in a hard left socialist government, I don't know. And then Le Pen is painted out to be far right. And let me just tell you something. The origins of the French Front National may well have been far right, but she's dragged them, I think, a long way from that. And in terms of security, in terms of believing in sovereignty, in many of those things, she has a huge amount in common with, firstly, the Brexit campaign, and secondly, with President Trump. OK, so you're saying that much of the uh, media in France operates much as it does here in the U.S., uh, the, by your description there. Oh, yes. Uh, the, and, and President Trump also tweeted just days ago another terrorist attack in Paris after the tragic shooting there, saying the people of France will not take much more of this, will have a big effect on the presidential election. So now that we're down to two, how does that issue factor into that May 7th vote? Well, there are two weeks to go. Uh, there have been 21 terrorist attacks of varying size that have happened in France since 2015. So the odds of another one happening between now and May 7th, when the runoff is, are actually quite high. Look, I've seen, you know, Obama backing Monsieur Macron, Mrs Merkel backing Macron, and the European Commission in Brussels, who are supposed to be neutral, backing Monsieur Macron. Uh, the polls say that she's a long way behind, 20 points behind. All I would say to you is this man Macron has never, never been elected to anything. He's never been tested under fire. I listened to his speech last night. It was utterly vacuous. He had no policy at all other than to say he'll defend the status quo. And I will make one prediction. That is that 20 point gap is going to narrow considerably over the course of the next two weeks. Well, you've been someone who's been really good at reading the people despite the polls. The polls were way off, we know, in some cases in our presidential election just months ago. Yeah. Um, how far off yeah. do you think that they are? Can she stage a full come from behind victory, in your opinion? Well, I did call it for Trump uh, a couple of months before uh, the election of, of November the 8th. And I'm not yet calling it for Le Pen, uh, but I would suggest to you that the gap is probably more like 10 points than 20 points, and there is still all to play for. And given, you know, given last year, Brexit, Trump, and all sorts of surprises, you know, don't write this off. There is going to be a real debate here. In fact, in many ways, France is having a referendum on its European project membership. This is a big, big battle of two huge cultural ideals. One, the globalists who believe in open borders, and the other, those who believe in nation state and protecting their people. And I, I think this will run a lot closer than most of your commentators in Paris are saying today. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks around the world think that the US uh, a president should not be weighing in at all. He has not endorsed a candidate. He has tweeted. He has said some things that have been positive about uh, Marine Le Pen's positions. Here is what his chief of staff, Reince Priebus, said yesterday when he was asked directly about that. Has the president taken sides in the French election? Is he officially, uh, is he unofficially hoping Marine Le Pen gets into no, the runoff? No, not at all. I mean, not at all. Uh, he is going to support whoever the winner is. We've got a long-term relationship that's uh, historical with the French uh, people and the French government. And no matter who wins, that relationship is going to continue. Uh, so quickly, if President Trump is viewed as favoring one candidate over another in this election, is it a plus or a minus for that candidate? Look, he's been careful. I doubt the president will go any further than he's gone. He's pointed out that the, the pen is tough on terrorism. That's all he's going to say. Obama is openly backing Macron, uh, and I'm sure the Clintons will too. Well, we're glad it's as interesting there as it is here, sir. Nigel Farage, always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. There has been